Hello, and welcome to this video where I'll be detailing my experiences building a Raspberry Pi GPS data logger as well as testing it out in the car. To begin, I'm going to go over the Raspberry Pi itself as well as all the components I used to build the logger. So first is the Raspberry Pi, it's a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, and then the USB-C cable as well as a micro SD card and the power source. I chose to use a power bank as I found this to be most beneficial when moving the logger between different locations and such. The first step to booting up the Raspberry Pi here is to make sure the micro SD card is set up with the operating system on it beforehand. So what I did for this was I used a separate computer as well as the Raspberry Pi Imager software, which you can find linked below, um, in order to write the disk with the operating system. And the operating system which was used was the legacy version of Raspberry Pi. With the operating system on your micro SD card, it can now be inserted here into the Raspberry Pi and powered on for the first time. And now the next step is to figure out a display for your Raspberry Pi in order to finish setting everything up. Uh, a multitude of things can be used for this. The Raspberry Pi itself supports micro HDMI to HDMI, so that can easily be connected to any monitors or TVs. In my case, I decided to go with an iPad as well as a remote connection to the Raspberry Pi using a software called No Machine, which can also be found in the links below. With the Raspberry Pi booted up in a working display, this will bring you to the Raspberry Pi OS desktop. From here, a few simple things can be done, such as changing the password, enabling SSH, SPI, and I2C. And on from there, included in the GitHub links below, you can find detailed documentation for installing the GPS logging itself for the Raspberry Pi. And finally, we have the last component, which is the Stratix VK162. And lastly, with the GPS connected to the Raspberry Pi, the only thing left to do is to make sure that the Raspberry Pi is able to communicate with the GPS and we are able to read the raw data coming from the GPS. All the documentation for this can again be found in the GitHub link down below. And with everything assembled, we'll now show a few clips of the Raspberry Pi GPS logger in action.
project went fairly smoothly, including building the Raspberry Pi itself, as well as the GPS and getting everything to work. That can again all be found in the GitHub links down below, and that is very straightforward. The only place where I encountered issues with the Raspberry Pi was on boot up. A lot of times when I would try to shut the Raspberry Pi down in order to stop working on it and come back later, I would find that when I booted up, I would run into lots of different issues that weren't there when I left it. Um, aside from this, I was able to get everything working, and this project introduced me to many new devices and components which I never knew existed. And again, all the links for devices as well as software used can be found down below. Thanks for watching.